Hey guys, MrCumbra94 here, and today I have another uh, episode of my uh, showdown sessions. I'm actually using the same exact team as yesterday. And so, uh, let's get things off. Uh, my Rapid Spinner, Hitman Top, Life Orber, Octillery, uh, Stealth Rocker, Steelix, Assault Vest, Tangrowth, Choice Scarf, Typhlosion, uh, Tauros with uh, Life Orb, and he has pretty much almost the same team as me, except for Alligator, probably for bulk. Trick. Uh, Rotom, Registeel, and, uh, Verizon Wireless, aka okay, Verizion. I have to say that, I'm sorry guys. Uh, I'm predicting the Rotom leads, I'm gonna start off with my Typhlosion. He's actually, I've actually, uh, been recording this for about, like, a minute or so, but I kind of, I had to fix up the screen angling. So I think this guy is honestly just, like, kind of taking his sweet-ass time, either that or he's, like, AFK. So I'll wait here for, like, another, maybe, like, 10 seconds or so, and then I'm just probably just gonna quit the battle and go on to another one. I don't, I don't really care about raining too much. Mm. Sorry, as I was drinking uh, my flavored water. He says, uh, wasn't expecting another type of in Tauros. Haha, it's like a mirror image. Alright, for sure. So, let's see what this guy is going to do right now. Alright, so he starts up with the Registeel. I actually make a pretty good start. I'm going to go straight for uh, Eruption. Pretty good lead. I actually don't really do RU all that often, so I'm not really used to seeing Registeels. But when I do, I've only seen them a few times. They're usually leads, I guess. I think they're used for what? Like setting up rocks? I think so. He knows I'm scarfed. Okay, so that only did that much damage. Kind of a bad play on my part, but eh, whatever. Okay, um, I'm going to head out into my... Uh, probably my Tangrowth. He switches out. He goes into, into for alligator. He's probably switching out himself. Um, let's see here. I'll Pokemon Kitty switching dude to take the hit. Power Whip. Oh, really nothing. I'm just going to strip for Power Whip. Piss on it. Let's just do it. He swaps out into Verizon Wireless. Takes the hit pretty well. Oh, I forgot he had Verizion on his team. That's the Pokemon he could counter with. Verizion's kind of like in the back like over here, so it's kind of hard to see him. Okay, so I'm bringing to predict the fighting type attack. I'm going to head out into my... Uh, Probably my Hitman top. I also want to kind of get the Intimidate drop. He actually uh, goes for that. I could... I'm going to switch back out into my uh, Tangrowth again. I just wanted to get off the Intimidate drop off in it, so I'd just do all that much damage. But now since I know it carries Toxic, I'm actually going to switch out into my Steelix. Rotom. He might actually go for Trick here. But I'm not going to take that... I don't know what I want to do. I'm just going to get at my rocks. In case he does go for trick. Doesn't look like he has any. Yeah, he goes for trick. No big deal. I'm not really too worried about it. So that's it in my rocks. Good thing. He doesn't have any Pokemon that can get rid of rocks. Purple by Quaz is actually here right now. Where he's just chilling. Does he have it? Does he have any Pokemon that can get rid of rocks? I don't think so, no, so I think we're clear. Say hi, Purple. Hey. He's here right now. He, we're, uh, we're just doing our things. He's about to record. I'm recording. We're just hanging out. Um, he has wrote him. Let's see. I'm going to switch out to uh, probably Tangrowth. He double switches. Okay, no big deal. I'm going to go for Earthquake. He might switch in. That's okay, though. I'm not really going to. Yeah, so down goes Registeel. That's one of his walls down. Luckily, I got my rocks if I had the chance. I'm actually glad that he used Trick on my Steelix and any, uh, any of my other Pokemon. Because, I mean, Typhlosion was kind of risky. He might have been predicting that. So that's why I kind of just uh, switched in the Steelix just to be safe. Because, I mean, the Volt Switch could have came in. Things could have just been a real pain in the ass. Alright, so now I'm going to switch into my, uh, he might go for an eruption. I'm not sure, though. I don't really know what Pokemon I could switch into for this kind of attack. Um, I could switch into my Octillery. I think my Octillery can take a hit. Hidden Power. Uh, boy, that didn't do too much damage, but still kind of that chance. He might actually go for Hidden Power again, so I'm just going to go for Scald. 
I'm actually switching to his for alligator. I could go for energy ball, but I mean, I'm just gonna go for the safe scald anyway. Because I, cause I can still get off the burn. Oh, yeah. He, sw he swapped into his Rotom. That totally annihilated it. <laughs> I have no idea why he swapped into his Rotom. Kind of an odd play. So here, uh, here comes Verizon Wireless again. Verizon Wireless. I can't stop saying that. So That's just so stupid but funny. Okay. I think I'm going to head into... Hitmontop. Probably... Does he have Justified? Yeah, so I'm not going to go for Knockoff. Okay, so he gets up Toxic. I still have Regenerator. I don't want any of my other Pokemon getting Toxic. I could have swapped in the Steelix, but then again, like... Steelix could have been used for Death Fodder later on, and there might be a close combat coming, so I'm just going to go for Poison Jab. That actually did some pretty dang good damage. Okay, cool. Did you, hey, his, his version actually has a, a Rocky Helmet. That's strange. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well. Getting Regenerator off. Switching into... Uh, Steelix, I may as well. Actually, no, probably I'll switch into him on top because I want to get Regenerator off. Synthesis again. I'm probably going to head out. Man, I'm kind of in a jam here. I could switch into Typhlosion. I can actually, I, I have an idea. Um, I'm going to go for a Stone Edge on it. See how much damage that does. I got a crit though. Hmm. Sacred Sword's coming. I have an idea. I'm going to Steelix. Go for an Earthquake. Just to get up some damage. I want him to take me out, so that way I can switch into, into my Typhlosion. And get off a Lava Plume. His, his Typhlosion's gonna take a net, because if he swaps into his Typhlosion, his Typhlosion's gonna take damage from the rocks. For alligator, huh? Okay, interesting play. I'm just gonna for another quick. I don't even care if uh, Stilix dies. That's not a big deal for me. He's probably gonna go for a waterfall. Yeah, not even enough power, dog. There, Stilix actually put in a lot of work this battle. I'm actually really, really surprised. Okay, so here he goes again. What Pokemon is he gonna switch out to? Typhlosion again. Nope. Should I sack him off? Purple. Uh, yeah, sure. He's gonna sack him off and see what happens. Focus blast. Okay, no big deal. Does he have life orb? He is scarfed. Okay. Um. Since he's scarfed, that means he's locked in the focus blast. Which that can mean. I can go into Tangriff. And I'm gonna go for a. Uh, a poison jab. Yep, he he's scarfed. Poison jab. Here we go. Now, this is going to be kind of risky. I'm going to predict the synthesis here. So that leaves me. I can switch into my Typhlosion. Get up. No. He switches into his Tauros. Nice play. Um, I'm going to go for Focus Blast. Don't miss. Don't miss. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Lava Plume won't do enough damage to it, but Focus Blast will definitely get it. Come on, baby. Please hit. Please freaking hit. Yes. That's a dead Tauros. So now he's probably going to switch out into his own Typhlosion. There goes the rocks again. Um, Probably just going to go for a Fire Type Attack. I'm going to go into my Hitman Top. That's okay, I don't really mind. Yeah. Extra sensory, that's fine by me too. I, did you know Typhlosion could create extra sensory? I did not know. Well, should I change a pin power electric for extra sensory? I can't, I don't know. I'll play that again to get the. Alright, so, I'm just gonna go straight for close combat. I'm dead, that's okay, I don't really mind. I could come in with. Um, now, since he's locked into extra sensory, I can come in here with Tauros and a Zen Headbutt. Especially since Verizion is a uh, also part uh, fighting type. Um, this should... Yes. I do run Jolly Tauros. You know, he goes into Verizion. 
I can get off the Zen headbutt, and if I can hit this, it's going to be GG. GG. So, okay, so that pretty much ends that battle. I'm just going to be 11 on the clock. 10, 13. All right. Oh, cool. 1160. Getting pretty high. All right, now let's head down to another battle really, really quick. Let's see what we got. So this guy has a uh, Registeel, Cobalion, Drapion, uh, Swellow, probably Guts variant, uh, another Verizon Wireless, um, and a e was it e Electivire? Yeah. So the Registeel lead is kind of obvious. So. Really? What's the set? Knock off utility, huh? Yeah, wow. So basically it's basically like, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check that out. Okay. Um. So he has Drapion. I'm just gonna go into Steelix. I eruption would do good damage. Up. Uh, nah, see. No big deal. He went for knockoff. So right now he doesn't have any Pokemon that can get rid of the rocks. I mean, Swallow might have Defog, but I rarely ever see Swallow with Defogs on it. Confuse Ray. Oh, I hope you guys can hear purple in the background because purple is, uh, I'm actually on my turtle beach right now. I don't, he might be able to hear me, he might not. We'll see, though. If you guys don't hear him, like, my bad. <laughs> Earthquake, yeah, I get some pretty damage off on it. Whirlwind, okay, no big deal. Um, I could go for a close combat. That's kind of a weird set. Confuse Ray, come on. X. Yep, close combat. Oh, damn, it doesn't do enough damage. Piss. No, don't kill me. All right, back on the Steelix again. Knock off again, no big deal. Uh, probably just gonna go for another Whirlwind again. Uh, we'll go for another Earthquake. Confuse Ray again. Is this really all this guy's gonna do? Steelix is my wall, like not my physical attacker. Toxic Specs, no problem. That's what hit my tops for to rapid spin that shit away. So no big deal on that part. Uh, Verizon Wireless. I don't want any of my Pokemon. Okay, I'm just going to go into my uh, Verizion. I mean, I'm my Verizion on my Hypnotop. The Intimidate drop goes off on it. So he actually goes for Swords Dance. I don't really mind. Because I can always come in here with Typhlosion and finish it off with a... Uh, I can always scare it out. Now, since he doesn't have any other Pokemon that gets up Hazards, it's really no big deal anymore. Plus, I know with the Intimidate drop, he basically just raises his attack back to normal. So I can go for the Rapid Spin. There goes the Toxic Spikes. He outspeeds me, but that's no big deal. And basically, Hitmontop is about to go down, but that's okay. Hitmontop did his job for the battle. Sacred Sword, no big deal there. Um, and head out to Typhlosion. Go straight off for the Eruption. Now, since I got the nice clean switch, down goes Verizion. I think he might switch into his, uh, maybe his Electivire. Do you think his Electivire is Scarfed? a balloon okay well oh, goodbye and i think we got a typhlosion sweep off here guys he's gonna switch into a swallow swallow has quick attack you might have actually have protect that's okay i'm just gonna go for eruption yep that's okay though dead and it's a dead swallow so now he's gonna switch into his uh cobalion i believe i'm actually gonna switch out because i because you 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 think i'll be able to decay it pretty good but do you think it has enough power, plus the with the HP? Well, even then, it's still, it's not really that useful anymore. Besides yeah, it, it is. Tauros can come in with Earthquake, but I think I'm actually going to, uh, I kind of want to switch out just because, I, so I, I can have the Lava Plume off. Yeah, all, right. all right, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to switch out just to be safe. Going back to my Steelix again. I'm taking precautions here. I don't really care that Steelix is dead. Plus, his special de defense is dropped now. So that's okay, honestly. I'll sacrifice off Steelix. Go for an Earthquake anyways. In case he decides to go for a stupid play. You never know. Yeah, close combat. Now his uh, special defenses and defenses have been dropped. I can go into Typhlosion. And take out this thing with the Lava Plume. So down goes Cobalion. Here comes uh, Reggie Steel. About to come in for the Steel. Psych. He's about to get his ass is about to get lava plumed. Boom. GG, I have nothing to counter that thing. Eh, Typhlosion's very, very reliable in the sense he's uh he did? Well of course, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, damn, I actually did. Okay, um. Um, let's see here. Oh, shit, I just blew the mic. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm gonna head out to Tangriff. That's okay. Amnesia, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for Earthquake on it. Substitute. Oh, you annoying piece of crap. Okay, well, the more he just spams it, I mean, it's... Yeah. What does he have on there? This is gonna be a very, very annoying set. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, he's slower than me, though, because of Curse. Hoping I'll be able to get this thing off. And that go, there goes the Registeel. Ah, we're at 1542, why not? Let's do a couple more battles. We got, still got plenty of time left on the clock. Let's do a couple more by the time we end here today, guys. We're just gonna wait for the ladder to upload. Is it gonna upload, or...? Okay. So now, this guy... Carbink's gonna obviously set up hazards. Uh, he has a Tangraf too. I don't know if it's the same one as us. For it, I've seen since I do a lot of NU battling, I've actually seen a lot of these Pokemon before. War Turtle is most likely Eviolite. X Cavalier is probably a Swords Dance, Mega Horn, Twist Scarf Typhlosion most likely. For it, Tangrowth, then eh, probably the same exact thing. Okay, so I have a feeling he's gonna lead off with this Carbink. So I think I might should I lead off with a uh, Hitmontop. Uh -huh. Lead up the Hitmontop. Actually, he's a Fairy type. I could go into. I'm actually going to head into Octillery for my lead. Because all, all he's really going to do is just set up hazards, and I can always just come in here with him on top and just clear it all out later. So I'm just going to go straight for a Scald. I don't really care because I can always get the burn off. That's going to do a nice clean chunk of damage. You don't freak with Octillery, man, I'll tell you. Well, Furt uh, actually outspeeds, and Furt's actually a very, very powerful a trick. Okay, I don't really care. That's okay about me. I'm just gonna sit on my rocks. Or you can just keep on using earthquake. I could use earthquake. Nah, I'd rather just get on my rocks. To be honest. Um he's probably gonna set up his rocks too. I'll go any I'll go out and hit my top and I'll get up the blood punch. Because it's double because it's quad effective to it. That's okay, I don't really mind being toxic. I'll just go for blood punch. Get oh, yeah. out of here. Quad effective to it, yeah. So bullet punch is gonna do a nice clean down. Oh, no, I should then do jack shit. Wow, okay, so uh Let's just sit here and spam Bullet Punch on it. Not bad, okay. Yeah, we're at really, really low health, though. <clears throat> you bastard. Okay. I can go for a Rapid Spin. He can't protect double. I, I, I can't kill a double. I can't kill a Bullet Punch. Well, I can. But then, I, the rocks are going to be on the field. I need to go for Rapid Spin. I have no choice. Go for Rapid Spin. So I, I need to get this off. That was actually a really, really good play on his half. Down goes my Hitman top. No big deal. I got the hazards off. That's all that matters to me. Um, I'm immediately just going to go straight into my uh, Tangrowth. I'm going to go for Knock Off because this thing is going to have an Eviolite. And this thing just needs to go. He, got, I mean, he actually got my rocks off the field too. There goes the Eviolite. I can go for power whip and start whipping this thing's ass. Should I go for earthquake? I wonder if I should go for earthquake. Uh, no. Let's go straight for power whip. Alright. Toxic, he missed. Bye bye, War Turtle. Even if he would have toxic, it really wouldn't have been a big deal. <clears throat> Back in the car bank. I could go for a poison jab, get this thing out of here. Or I can go for earthquake. Earthquake, play with poison jab? Earthquake, we get rid of it. Alright, for sure. Oh, damn it. Well, faggot set up his rocks again. Oh, well. No big deal. I don't really need... My Pokemon really don't take that much damage from rocks besides Teflosion. Alright, so... Probably head out into my, uh... My Steelix. You think so, huh? I should stand? Okay. Go for Earthquake. The eruption. I'm dead, yeah. This might actually be a loss in our favor. I need I needed to sacrifice him off though, that's just the main thing. Um since he's locked into eruption, doesn't do that much damage. I'm just gonna go for a scald. May as well. Plus Lactuary has some pretty good special defense. Tangrowth, please get burned, please get burned. I have a feeling we're gonna get the burn. No, we didn't. Do I outspeed it? You should. Okay. Flamethrower it is. Come on, Octillery. I have a feeling that we can outspeed it because Tangrowth is slow as fuck. Oh, he missed. You have got to be joking right now. The, the hacks are in my favor today, guys. 
I think that's actually a really cool set he has on his uh alright so I'm just gonna go on the Steelix. I don't wanna I need artillery for this battle. So return to doesn't doesn't do jack damage. Uh, I'm gonna set up my rocks one more actually should I just go for earthquake? I'm just gonna go for earthquake. U turn. He's probably gonna switch out to his ex cavalier. Ex cavalier. He's probably gonna set up his uh, sword stance, but earthquake is gonna finish him off anyways. This is actually kind of a close game. Earthquake. I actually I outsped it too. I was actually really, really surprised. Alright, well, uh, Steelix is pretty much gonna win the battle for us, guys. Well, e eruption, that's true. Um, crap. Okay. Let's sack a second off. No big deal. Alright, so bye bye, Steelix. I might go into my own Typhlosion, maybe. I do, yeah. Take a little bit of damage from rocks, but no big deal. I'm gonna go for Focus Blast. I wonder if I'm gonna hit it. I missed. That's bull. Okay. I'm in blaze now. I'm just gonna go for Focus Blast again. What a dumbass. And he missed again. I missed again. Are you freaking joking right now? He's actually. I think, I think his friend actually carries Quick Attack. No, it doesn't. Now, he just has his uh, Typhlosion again. If I can pull off his Focus Blast and hit it, that'd be excellent. Come on, hit it. Yes. Now I can come. Oh, he misses the Fire Blast. Those hacks are costing him so, man. What a close battle. Okay, so down goes Typhlosion. And so, so since he's... Uh, no, that's actually a bad play. I'm going to go into... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go in the Taurus. I'll go in the Taurus. Okay, so I'm going the Taurus. I'm going to get ahead in. I'm just going to go for uh, Rock Climb. He actually wasn't Scarfed. Or either that or I'm just like an entry faster than him. Good game for sure. That was close. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to wrap up today's episode. And I'm at 12.11 for my rating. Wow. He says way too close. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's battle for uh, my RU sessions. Uh, I'm Mr. Gumbrand94, and I'll see you guys next time.